a real bad mood this past while. Now you have to wonder when it will do its worst. For that day is coming sooner than we think. USA, the winter storm that forecasters dubbed Elliot, intensified into a bomb cyclone near the Great Lakes on Friday, bringing high winds and blizzards. Condition from the northern plains to western and upstate New York, along with life-threatening flooding, flash freezing, and travel chaos as it went. Video today is shot footage of the worst blizzard in the history of USA. Do not like and subscribe to our channel to see more about natural disasters in the world. Rich Malioko, the lead forecaster for the NWS in Glasgow, Montana, where wind chill plug to minus 60F overnight, said the weather was extremely dangerous. With these kinds of wind chills, if you're not wearing those warm layers, unprotected skin can get frostbite in less than five minutes, he said. More than 200 million Americans were under weather warnings, as wind chills sent temperatures down as low as minus 55F, minus 58 Celsius, according to the National Weather Service, NWS. Heavy snow, howling winds and air so frigid it instantly turned both water into ice. You can see this video that conditions were cold enough for people to post videos of themselves carrying out the boiling water challenge, in which boiling water is thrown into the air and instantly freezes. <laughs> <laughs> About 5,000 U.S. flights were canceled on Friday and another 7,600 delayed. Many at international hubs in New York, Seattle, and Chicago's O'Hare. The knock-on effects were spreading misery even to travelers arriving in Los Angeles. The roads are going to be like a nice skating rink and your tires cannot handle this. Drivers were being told not to take to the roads, as the country is what is usually its busiest time of year for travel. Transport departments in North and South Dakota, Oklahoma, Iowa, and elsewhere reported near zero visibility, white out, ice covered roads and blizzard conditions, and strongly urged residents to stay home. At least two traffic fatalities were reported in Oklahoma on Thursday. Andy Bisher, the governor of Kentucky, confirmed three in his state. In Ohio, a 50-vehicle piled up left at least one person dead, according to local media, while in Michigan, an accident involving nine tractors, trailers, snow traffic. The biting cold is an immediate concern for hundreds of thousands of electricity customers who were without power. In El Paso, Texas, migrants who had crossed from Mexico huddled from warmth in churches, schools, and a civic center. Some of these people are actually frightened. This is the first time they've been in the elements without some place to go. The storm, estimated to be 2,000 miles wide, has produced driving snow and plummeting temperatures, knocking out power from Texas to Maine. Officials ordered cars off the roads as U.S. forecasters one of potentially crippling impacts across central and eastern parts of the country. An advisory warned that the powerful cold front would engulf the eastern U.S. with widespread dangerous cold expected to continue across much of the eastern two-thirds of the U.S. into the holiday weekend. Record-breaking